Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 131. And this is a QZO, a short communications on 72113. Now, maybe this is the second one I did today. I've lost track of time. What the heck? But I had something important to let you know. I re did a review of the Eton. Uh, Avast virus database has been updated. Thank you. Um, solar powered, crank powered, battery powered, the emergency radio. Here it is right here. And the one thing I mentioned in my review is that I, because of weather conditions, overcast, been raining every day. Well, today, yesterday and today, there's no rain. Well, very low rain, but a lot of sunshine today. So I took this radio out and put it in the sun. Um, and I had done this before, but it was overcast and it didn't charge at all. The other thing I noticed before is that the little LED up here near the top is supposed to tell you when it's charging. Now, it may be only telling you when your crank charging. That definitely does work and it does. Uh, I believe turn yeah it turns green, but I thought it would also turn green if the solar charging was working. Well, before I concluded maybe it was because I didn't have bright sunlight. Well, today I've got very very bright sunlight down here in Florida, and I put it out in the sun, and I set my watch to uh, remind me to check it after an hour just to see if everything's going okay. Well because this thing, this radio is red, a dark red, it absorbed the sun and it got really, really hot within an hour. So I took it out of the sun, brought it inside. Now, I haven't turned it on, so I got an hour of direct sunlight charging, one hour. So I'm going to turn it on now and see if the radio works. Isolated thunderstorm for the evening, then scattered thunder after midnight. Thursday, southwest winds 10 to 15 knots. Seas to the 3 feet. Okay. Scattered thunderstorm. This radio was completely discharged when I took it out to let it charge for an hour. So it so it has charged and I'll let it run here for a little while um, while I'm taping to see how long the charge is going to last. I'm not going to let it run for very long. And I think I don't have the manual right here, but I think it said to fully charge the internal battery, that's the rechargeable battery that comes with the radio, you have to have 10 hours of direct sunlight. So I've only allowed it to be in the sun for one hour because it was the case was getting so hot. And I definitely don't want it to damage the case. Still working. Whoop. That was just because I turned it. Uh, it's receiving well. I don't even have the telescopic antenna extended. And as you can hear, it's coming in quite well. And the red LED light is on, indicating that it's drawing power. The green LED light that comes on when you're crank charging it doesn't come on when you're solar charging it. But apparently, the solar charging is working because it's still working fine. Um, and this is after only an hour of being in direct sunlight. So I will let this play until it dies, until it drains the battery, and then I'll put in a little bubble in the video saying how long it lasts. So that's the show for today. Uh, just an update on the Eaton. Gonna set it down, let it run while I end this video.
If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Also, one thing I wanted to report is I noticed, let me turn the sound down. I noticed on YouTube, and it's not unique to my channel because I'm seeing it on channels that I've subscribed to, that I'm using the option where you can tell YouTube to send you an email when somebody has posted a new video. Well, I've noticed I'm not always getting those notifications on the ones I've subscribed to, and I've been told by some of my subscribers they're not getting notifications of my new post, my new videos. And so I don't know what's going on there. The other thing that I had mentioned in a previous video is my concern about the number of views of my uh, shows has gone way down in the past month. Way, way down. And again, I had um, done some investigation and looked at some other YouTube channels and they seem to be down and one YouTuber mentioned that apparently YouTube is changing the way that they give you a credit for a view and that you have to view the entire video before YouTube counts that as a view. And that particular YouTuber has reduced the size of his videos so that people don't get bored and click off the channel and he doesn't get any credit because he is actually getting paid for the number of views. I'm not. So it's not a big deal for me. It's just kind of discerning that the view count appears to be going down. Maybe it is. So anyway, that's just another piece of information. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.